Hello! Yes, we are officially in the season of Advent. Yes, and traditionally the first Sunday of this season is all about hope. And I understand that it is difficult for many, this concept of hope, especially in these days when we are constantly reminded of the environmental crisis, when on, on the news we see all those wars, this violence, um, even in our cities, it does not have to be overseas, it's close to us. Um, all this poverty, this loneliness, that's something that we often forget during the holidays, but there's a lot of poor and lonely people. So how can we hope? How can we live in this hope? The same question was probably asked when the prophet Isaiah um, spoke the words uh, that begin the second chapter. He belonged to what we call today the God's chosen people. But honestly, for God's chosen people, they have been beat up by their neighbors over and over again when it was not the Egyptian, it was the Babylonian, the Syrian. It, they, they live in constant fear of war. On top of that, their rulers, besides a few, were those kings were not very great kings. And this is why when Isaiah claimed in the days to come, and notice here is an affirmation. It's not maybe some days or maybe it could be that way. No, no. In the days to come. That's an affirmative. The notion, the nations and the people will come together to learn about a new ethical way of living under the guidance of God. And the instruments of war will be transformed into tools to to, to feed the community. I know it's easy to be cynical, to be doubtful, uh, to say, yeah, sure, you know, 25, uh, 25 centuries later, we're not there yet. Still war, people are still divided, but maybe there's another way to look at it. Like the famous uh, example, you can see the glass half empty or half full. Here Isaiah invites us to dream of half full vision. The invitation to dream of a better world. To choose hope over despair. To see possibility, to see opportunities around us. To dream big, bold, not to be afraid. Because most often, we are our worst enemies. We are the one who stay numb and, and passive and complaining. But we're reminded that all of this could be better and should be better. And when we start believing this, somehow something open in us, as much as we are wired to desire those better things. And, and when we start to shift our priorities, our actions, our behaviors, something change inside of us. And when we start living by hope, we know that we cannot change everything right away across the planet. It's a slow process and we have to accept it start with us one person at a time. But it reminds us that we are part of God's dream, God's process for this world that is all so long. It seems that we human beings don't learn fast enough probably and God as infinite patience, but to be part of this process, knowing that God has not given up on us, it can give us this little edge, this 
little push, this little help to go on with life and to stay in, on this path when it's not easy, when it's rough, when it's difficult. We say that Advent is a time of anticipation. Well, the message we receive on this first Sunday is in the days to come. So, yes, we're waiting, we're hoping, we are also working because we are sure that the days will come when this world will be better, when this world will be approved. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.